steps in cloning with lambda so different steps can be used for cloning with lambda and of course one of the first step is that ke jo dna hai lambda genome isko phage se isolate kiya jata hai aur isko cut kiya jata hai kisi munasib restriction enzyme se and after cutting the lambda genome so what will happens we have the idea that uh, three fragments may be produced two fragments that are present at the right or left side of the lambda genome they are essential because they encode uh, vital proteins for the survivability of the lambda virus whereas the central region that that is a third fragment that will be produced it is non essential so it is removed and in the second step the foreign dna it is ligated with two essential uh, fragments of the lambda genome so that now we can get a recombinant dna that contain two fragments from the lambda genome the fragments that is present at the right are the left side and the filler dna it is replaced with foreign dna and here the the length of the recombinant dna molecule that is produced it is very very important because if two small fragments are produced that is smaller than 40000 base pairs they will not be packaged and even larger than 53000 base pairs they will also be uh, uh, you can say that removed or will not be packaged within the phage head so this is the constraints that we are going to use as a selectable marker uh, in recombinant dna process so only foreign dna that is up to the size of 53000 base pairs they can be uh, packaged very larger and smaller dna fragments they are discarded and in the third step if we have produced the recombinant dna molecule and in the third step uh, it is the in vitro packaging in vitro packaging means that we are mixing the recombinant dna with essential uh, viral proteins so here we can use the crude extract of the bacterium jo ke sari ke sari jo munasib requirement hai ya zaruri requirement hai wo provide karega jisme packaging proteins hain jaisa ke head or tail proteins to in vitro packaging hogi aur in vitro packaging ke baad जो फोर्थ स्टेप है वो है ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ इकोलाई ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ इकोलाई इट इज वेरी इफिशियंट वेन वी कंपेयर इट विद प्लाज्मिड वैक्टर्स वेयर द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एफिशियंसी में बी लिटिल बिट लो बट वेन द फेज पार्टिकल्स दे आर यूज एज अ वैक्टर द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एफिशियंसी इट इज वेरी हाई इफ वी आर एबल टू प्रोड्यूस वाइबल फेज पार्टिकल्स आफ्टर रिकॉम्बिनेशन when infection is there then of course after some time the phage particles will cause the lysis of the host cells so plaques are produced and the plaques are they are selected uh, for the recombinant phages when recombinant phages we isolated after lysis to jo last step hai ya fifth step hai wo hum ye dekhna chahenge ki kya hamara foreign dna isme still present hai ki nahi तो उसके लिए हम डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स जो हैं वो यूज कर सकते हैं जैसे स्टार्ट में आपने देखा था कि वी कैन परफॉर्म हाइब्रिडाइजेशन स्टडीज ऑन द मेम्ब्रेन्स वेयर द फॉरेन डीएनए इट कैन बी इमोबलाइज ऑन द मेम्ब्रेन एंड बाय यूजिंग अ नॉन प्रोब वी कैन डिटेक्ट आवर जीन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एनदर टेक्निक इज दैट वी कैन यूज Uh, DNA sequencing to detect our cloned fragment and other techniques like uh, uh, some selectable traits they can also be used that we are going to discuss uh, after some time this diagram it indicates the steps that are involved in the cloning procedure by using bacteriophage lambda vectors as i told you that 
the DNA that is present between the left or right side, it is non-essential and it can be removed. And after removing or digestion with restriction endonucleases, this fragment it can be replaced with the foreign DNA here between the left or right region so that we can produce a recombinant DNA molecule that contain the two essential fragments of the phage lambda like one at the left or the right side and third one it is the foreign DNA. When we produced the recombinant hybrid DNA the next step is that the foreign DNA it can be transformed into the phage head by a process which is called as the in vitro packaging. So it may be inserted into the phage head and assembly process is there and now this virion, the phage particle, it is now ready to infect new host organism. So these are a few steps that are involved in cloning with bacteriophage lambda. Now we have the idea that modified lambda phages that are Charon 41 or Charon 16, they contain reporter genes as I told you that beta galactosidase and uh, if the foreign DNA it is inserted, its expression it will be lost. That will indicate the presence of foreign uh, DNA. That we are going to discuss after one or two topics. That how on the basis of beta galactosidase we will select our recombinant DNA.